Bon. It's no days off. Take no breaks. You in my lane. You in my way. We got a meeting in the French Quarter in five minutes. Be late. Go ahead, lead the way. That's what you do anyway. What's that supposed to mean? If you got a problem with me, come out and say it. First Kai, now this Ormstrid. Forgive me if I feel like a puppet in all of this. You reached out to us, remember? Your friend Sebastian is gonna help bring down two deadly organizations, Tadakul and Ormstrid's empire. I guess I'm nervous about being back on US soil. How about we blow off those dust sheets with a sprint? Uh, hello? Okay, sure. I'll meet you there. Oh, I see. It's like that, is it? Nice cornering, but you'll need to be faster to beat me. It'd take you any day. Maybe one day, but not this day. That's a nice car you got. Shame about the color, though. But bright red is so unique. Excuse the interruption, ladies, but who exactly are we meeting again? One of our crew's been working deep undercover. If he's doing his job, they won't know he's there. waiting on my ride. Don't you know what chop chop means? That's your undercover guy? Wait, I recognize him. He's a friend of Tej. Roman something. Yeah, Roman something, all right. Wait here a minute. Let me find out what's up. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Come on, Letty. This shit ain't cool. You're gonna blow my cover. No, for real. Tonight I'm running some huge op. That's inside a bad guy speak for operation. Never would have guessed. I'm just waiting for the call. Now, who are you two? <sighs> Vienna Cole. I used to race with Tej back in Miami. They've been helping us with the Moroccan op. Right on. So what you gotta understand is that I've spent weeks working my way up the ladder. I'm practically running the whole thing now. Impressive. Yeah, that'll be my secret terrorist network contact. I'm supposed to deliver something important to the big boss himself tonight. OK. Keep us posted. Damn, Letty. You don't think I know what I'm doing by now? All right, cool. I gotta bounce. I got a whole criminal organization to run. Hey, man, where am I headed? Subtle, that one. Hit me up with an address. Who do you think you're talking to, Aaron Boy? No address. You just go where I tell you. Now take a left up ahead. You want to go north on the freeway towards Seabrook. What in the hell is over in Seabrook? None of your goddamn business. Take the on-ramp here. Better hurry. 
hurry up. The boss won't like it if you're late with his delivery. You guys came to me because you wanted skill and experience. You came to me because you want the best. Your ass is still on probation as far as the boss is concerned. Consider this a test. A test? After all I've done for you guys? <laughs> Shit. Let's see how you do tonight. Man, this shit better not be about no damn cigar. What was that? Long story. This is why I drive the supercars and you drive trucks. Hell are we going? Take this right. We're going towards Lakefront. This is just stupid. Bad guys can't get their packets delivered closer to the city. Left again. You're real close now. Finally. You're the worst backseat driver ever. I'm here. Now what? Lamar? This better not be no setup. Hey there. How you doing this fine evening? Not a good idea for you to be all alone out here this late. Sure, get on in. I guess you know a strong, protective man when you see one. And I know a gorgeous, aggressive woman yes. when I... Yes, 911. I'd like to report a crime. No, 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 hold on, hold on. You're the one who got in my car. A police officer is shot and bleeding out. Corner of Townsend and Harbor. Please, hurry. I saw a silver Aston Martin with New York plates. 
pulling away from the scene of the crime. Where is the package I'm supposed to pick up? Is that it? I'm the package. Welcome to part two of the test. Let's just call it evasive maneuvers. Now drive. We're going to this destination. Listen, lady. I ain't the criminal version of Uber. All units, all units. 1199. real fast. You are so concerned about the lives of those police officers. Perhaps you are one as well. Me? A cop? Hell no. How about I show you my prison tax from back in Barstow later? If there is a later. Keep throwing those things out the window and we'll have a whole damn city looking for it. You have another way to stop me? Actually, I do. Next level James Bond shit. Officers are encountering heavy resistance from the suspect vehicle on the 1199 case. Passengers throwing explosives from the car. Secondary and backup units are closed six to remain at a five-block radius. Supervisor is now on the air. Maybe you'll pass these tests after. Boss man can throw all the tests he wants at me. I've been rolling with you guys for months now. I got this. You won't always have your fancy gadgets, but at least now I know you can improvise. Get rid of the rest of them. Adios, suckers. Double or nothing. Gotta protect those cops. Maybe you'll pass these tests after all. Boss man can throw all the tests he wants at me. I've been rolling with you guys for months now. I got this. You won't always have your fancy gadgets, but at least now I know you can improvise. Get rid of the rest of them. Suckers, double or nothing.
think we're losing them. I hope you're gonna leave me a big tip after that. I assume I passed in? You talk too much. We're still on for drinks later, right? Mr. Pierce, I heard you ran into some trouble with the local law enforcement. Oh, was that what I saw in my rear view? I was going too fast to notice. Then it appears you're exactly the driver we need for a rather delicate operation. You know I'm the only man for the job, right? Did you ever order something online, only to never have it appear on your doorstep? Ah, sure. That sucks, man. Immensely frustrating. Especially if it's something you specifically wanted and you can't have it just because some idiot screwed up on the delivery. Fortunately, there is a replacement. One that will satisfy my requirements after some adjustments. Right, right on, man. Are you up to the task, Mr. Pierce? Does fast food cure a hangover? Good luck, Mr. Pierce. My son Kai will give you the details. Oh, wait. This is your pops? Roman. Okay. I got a top secret mission, and I'm gonna need two things. What's that? First, some cars. I mean, serious cars. Okay, what else? I'm gonna need some kind of signal scrambler, because what they want me to steal can never be turned on. Armstrong found himself another Eclipse device. I've been thinking of a way to jam it. Leave it with me. Yeah, the big boss man was pretty upset that his son Kai lost the first one. Wait, did you say Kai? Yeah. Kai is Armstrong's son? And you saw him tonight? Saw him? I could have reached out and smacked him. Huh. What are we waiting for? First, we meet up with Dom. This 
is what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up? Deja vu. Maybe this is where our luck turns around. How did you find out about this race? Every city, every town in America has got a race. Tell me again why Interpol can't just give us some cars. Roman's supposed to be this lone wolf wheelman. They expect him to find his own rights. So where are they? Dominic Toretto, welcome to the Big Easy. Mahalia, I got a business proposition for you. Anything for a legend like you. We need some cars. Ah, uh, that I can't do. Look, Dom, what's mine is yours. But this whole thing is legit. I've heard the rumors of what you do with cars nowadays. And I can't have it traced back to me or what we built here. Great. So what do we do now? What we do best. <laughs> Respectfully? Nobody in their right mind would consider going up against you in this race. True. But I'm not going to be the one behind the wheel. This is no amateur event, sweetheart. What'd you bring? 500 kilowatts, 750 horsepower, and 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds fast enough for you? Sweetheart? Fair enough. We'll see if your sleeper car can keep up with these. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, today you are all right. Winner takes all. And as you can see, these prizes are exquisite. Two laps around this fine city of ours. Keep it between the barriers and give the crowds a show that will go down in history. Drivers, you better be ready. This is the ride of your life. On my mark. Go! You aren't all that. Oof, maybe I have bitten off more than I can chew. Power. Don't embarrass me in front of these gas guzzlers. all the track here.
dread each apex. I'm smaller and more agile than those beasts. I can do this. Here we go, second lap. Don't let me down now. Gotta show Dom he was right to put his faith in me. Bring it home. I'm gonna do it. This ain't no sleeper car. Its eyes are wide open and awake. Last few corners. Focus! Where'd you find Cam, anyway? You know, I'm realizing now, I think they found me. I was 10. They were a few years younger. They were new to the neighborhood. And their parents constantly left them alone. And one night, I caught them trying to get into my house. They were scared. They. <sighs> I just wanted someone to play with. What did you do? I guess I could have yelled for my parents. But they were crying. So we just played, talked about cars. And after that, we hung out all the time. We've been through a hell of a lot together. What about their parents? 
Let's grab the pigs for the cars. Dom's probably halfway to Roman with the scrambler by now. <laughs> 